A warm welcome back to Spectacle Island for episode 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Following on from the previous episode, animals are now all fed. I think I've been looking at all various different cedar planter options. I might just go for the larger Great Plains YP, I think. But a few jobs to be done. So we've pretty much doubled up on all of our animals. They've all been fed, they've all been watered, they've all been sorted. I need to lime field two. And even though I'm using the CNS uh, Anne Marie seed refill point, which is ridiculously cheap, and I love it for that, I'm, I'm still buying lime, but I don't need to. It seems a bit daft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the lorry. We're going to take a drive out to the lime quarry, lime mine. Going to get 250,000 litres of the stuff for free. Stick it up here in the silo. Then when I need lime, I haven't got to pay for it. I know I'm not, I'm not like I say, it's, it's a weird one because I'm not paying very much at all. But it's still, why am I paying for it? You know. So we're going to do that. And what's next? Oh yeah, uh, the harvest has stopped out on field 10. So I need to empty that, no not field 10, field 9, field 10 is not ready yet. I'm going to get the baler out there because I'm going to bale some of the straw. Once the grass is ready on field 7, I'm going to turn that to hay. I'm going to do some more grass and hay bales because I've doubled the amount of cows I've got. I'm going to need more time mixed ration, which means I'm going to get through that really quickly. We'll probably take the class out for that. I'm thinking about getting another one of those um, egg containers, the larger ones. It just, I just think it makes more sense, so I'll probably do that. The, all these fields need to be re-prepped. I'm ready to go again with the next crop type. I'm now looking at my options regarding pig food, because I've doubled the amount of pigs and I've just fed them again. I'm using a lot of crop to feed them. That's what I said right from the word go. You have to weigh up. Can you get more money for your crop than it costs you to buy pig food? It's, it's a very lovely thing to say, you know, I did it all myself. I grew the crops. I'm feeding my own animals. And if it was free to do, it wouldn't be a problem. But it's not free to do. And if you can make more money selling the crop, why not sell the crop and buy pig food? You know, it's, it's always that balance, isn't it? If you want to make the most amount of money from your pigs, when you sell them, you want to spend the least amount out in raising them. So I'm thinking about possibly buying some pig food in. Again, I don't know. I know I've mentioned it a couple of times. I'm trying to kind of weigh up my options. I know the pallets from Quiet Hitman, I think they worked out quite well. And there was one of the pig... Was it the pig food system wasn't it was it from was it Holger Sandstock I'm trying to remember who it was by when I was on Sussex Farms I did a kind of I, I tested it all out to see which one worked out the best value and I'm sure it was the pig food sort of silo system that worked out the best wasn't it so what should happen now is yeah we just fill up free 250,000 litres and we're going to stick it in there now uh, as far as family and what's not goes I'm, I'm sort of swinging. <laughs> Yesterday I woke up and I said the previous few days full of gusto, ready to do all sorts of stuff. And I would manage a video or a part of a video and then feel totally shattered and think, right, I've got to stop. To the point like my limbs, everything just felt heavy and I just, I just wanted to lay down. Yesterday was a good day and I didn't feel too bad and I got, I think, three videos done, didn't I, yesterday? Well, to be fair, Gold Rush was, was done over a few quite a few days, <laughs> quite a while actually three weeks I think it was between the last episode and that one and then did the mod review in the map tour but when I finished, oh man it knocked me sideways, and again I, I, I just finished and just sat I thought okay that's me done I'm, 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 I've had it so I woke up this morning again thinking right let's crack on and my throat feels sore again my head's banging again and I'm like, I just wish it would go away. <laughs> just wish it would leave us alone. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a worry. 
one of my twins, the one that got it first from her boyfriend, she's got, got it by far the worst of any of us. And she had both of her jabs ages ago because she works in a pharmacy. And like we said, it's been amazing that she's got away with not getting it before now. The fact that we've got people coming in and out of the pharmacy. I know people are wearing masks and all that kind of thing. And they're, they're following all the correct protocols and stuff. That's probably why she hasn't got it up until now, I suppose. But she has got it by far the worst. Nearly there. So yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm hoping I'll be able to record this all in one shot. And I'll get this out. When am I recording this? Tuesday. Hopefully this will come out Tuesday. And I'm trying, really trying to be as chipper as I can be. I'm going to close the cover. Don't want in that line blowing anywhere. I'm going to drive around. Um, so, off the back of that as well. Um, I don't, it's a difficult one, isn't it? Not that there was anything bad in the comments or anything like that. I've um, been kind of trying to keep up with them if I can. And it will go two, three days and I'll, I haven't done them and I'll go on. And, you know, it's just difficult. And the other day when I was, like I said, I'm, I was explaining, not complaining. I want to thank everybody. Honestly, everybody, um, for the comments and the well wishes and all that. Especially want to remark upon um, Chuck, Daniel, Jason, Joel, Seeds, I think it is Seeds, and Mark. Um, I cannot thank you enough, honestly. Um, I am humbled and astounded always am by people's generosity and I, I want people to know when I was saying the stuff I was saying I was in no way begging I wasn't you know but I'm, I'm astounded honestly and I can't I cannot thank you all enough so thank you thank you so much guys amazing you've helped me and my family for a really rough spot at the moment and I, and I really really do appreciate it so Awesome. So I'll get onto the lime in. Oh, that was the other thing. Fruit trees. I'm going to get the fruit trees in today. I was thinking about the thumbnail. I was thinking about being a bit cheeky, but I, I think I, I probably shouldn't. I don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> that was off of that, that throwaway comment I made the other day. Uh... I mean, if, if the thumbnail already says it, it's whether I've got whether I've got enough nous about me to, to do it. I don't think I have. So let's tip that in there. So while well, that's unloading, what's next? I did think I was, that was one of the comments that was made as well. Someone asked me about contracts. Why am I not picking up contracts? Um, this was one of those Let's Plays because on a lot of my Let's Plays, that's what I do. <laughs> I do contracts. It's how I kind of make my money until I can find that one thing, you know, that one thing on any map that's the money spinner. The, you know, it, it depends. Like I said before, six ashes, it was wood chips. On some maps, it's silage, and if the biogas play, pays out quite well, on some maps, um, if you've got a really good sell point for eggs, getting loads and loads of chickens like I did on Stone Valley, selling eggs and wool was absolutely mind-bogglingly good. It's finding that thing that's going to make you the most money, you know. So you can have that to tick over and then buy all the machinery you need and want for um, carrying on with what you're doing. Um, and I have often been... And I know, I know it's, it's a weird one. Um, because it's the same as when I did all the logging on here and what you know you put hours and hours and hours of work in when I'm doing contract work when I was doing it on Stone Valley massive fields and it would take me such a long time to do the contracts but they paid out really well you know 40 50 grand a go but it might take me an hour hour and a half you know you could do three or four other smaller jobs and people say, oh, you're just doing contracts all the time, you're just cheating. And, and again, I'm like, it's not cheating, it's contract work. You know, there are contractors out there, that's what they do. They spend their days and their lives contracting for other people and earning money by doing it. It's not cheating at all. So anyway, I said when I started this Let's Play, I, was, I wasn't going to do any contracts. I was going to stay away from the contracts, not do any. And get by without. And it is so difficult, because I have that reputation of just one more. Just one more contract. I can't help it. 
So we'll get this out. The milk sheep are doing really well. I've got a load of pallets of milk sitting there. Now I can transport them like that. I think I can transfer them into a tanker if I wanted to. I don't think I'm going to just yet. I'm going to keep them chugging away and I'll move a load of stuff to sit out of the way. Now I was thinking as well about what I said about extending the fields out. Now I've, I've bought field 9 and was it 11? The one on the other side of it and extending it. It's that question of is bigger better? Is bigger always better? I mean, and those of you immature ones that are tittering in the background, it's like being in class. Okay, stop your tittering in the back of the class. Um, is it? You know, will extending the fields and making one big field be better? It's that kind of thing that not everyone strives to do, but I know a lot of people, you know, when you get this situation like now, it's like, why wouldn't you? Well, it depends, I suppose, because if I was going to do just one crop type, but I want to get as much as I possibly can, then, yeah, I want to utilise the ground. So all the gaps I've got between these fields, that's all potential growing ground. So joining them all together makes perfect sense. But if I want to grow lots of separate crops, well, I suppose at the end of the day, you can join them all together and you can plant your crops and you can just leave a gap, can't you? You don't have to put crop, you know, I could leave a strip, just a thin strip between. That's always a worry if, you, if you've got workers working because that can cause problems. But, and the same with the cedars, you know, with a big situation like, well, a situation like this, if you want to get it done quickly, the bigger the, the equipment you've got, the faster you get it done, it's all very nice. So I suppose the question of is bigger better comes down to the situation. The situation you're in, what what does your particular situation require? What you know, I like I said before, I always get people ask me when I've done map tours or I'm gonna do a map tour or if there's a map I'm on, I'll always get at least one person comment and say, Can I use big machinery on that map? Um, and I've, I've always said you can use any machinery you want on any map, really there will be restrictions there will be certain things regarding a particular map that will prevent you you know smaller maps or the you know, a lot of the english maps that have got narrow lanes especially if you've got hedge collisions and stuff like that there will be a size limit there'll be a limit of gear that you will get to that will prevent you from going any further um but realistically you can use whatever gear you want it's entirely up to you So I'm just going to do a couple of strips up this end just to make it easier for the turn of the harvester while I'm not there. And while this is going, I'm going to then go and grab... I'm going to do the... What do I do first? I'll do the lime first, I think. Because that's a fairly easy job to get done. Is one enough? Or should I swing around and do another one? I'll do another I think as well the theory, because I've just bought this massive harvester, and I'm thinking of getting a larger seeder anyway, I think I'm just in my head saying to myself, I need to make larger fields to justify it. Why is this not working? That's better. Yeah, I suppose it's justifying the equipment I've got. I've got my second harvester as well, could really get that out. I could get that going on the other field further over, couldn't I? I shall do that as well. Got two harvesters, why am I not using them? So I think I've got enough manure from the pigs and the cows that doing Doing a little orchard now, it's not a bad idea. Yeah. Okay then. Topped up, back down to the field. I'll do the lime, then we'll get the pear trees. Then I'll grab the baler. I'll get that over there. I decided I'm not going to move the Scano over there just yet. 
What I might do is have one harvester over there. I might leave the larger harvester over the bigger fields, park it up and maybe put it into a barn or building over there and then leave the Takano this side for doing all these fields. I may move it back again, but it's just an idea at the moment. As you know by now, no plan survives contact with Mr. Silly P. Doesn't matter how good my plan is, or how good I think my plan is. The aft gay as they say. What's this field? What's the, I just I thought, I just came straight out and bomb, let's just crack on, let's get the liming done, then realised it wasn't this field I was supposed to be doing at all. I'm still in that, have a dilemma regarding the gold production. I'm really not too sure what to do now because of the situation with the... Uh, the, the animal pen system and doing mod reviews and I, I don't want to have to keep every time I do a mod review uninstalling the mod do the mod review reinstall the mod and you know but I really wanted to have a go with it because I think it's cool it's a brilliant idea that farmer man you I mean, you know I know it's not for everyone it fits the map, it fits the situation, and it's made for this map. I didn't want to not use it, but then... Oh, I don't know. Another one of those dilemmas. That was something that was discussed as well. Who was it mentioned that the other day? When we're talking about FS22 and features that we're seeing, people said about a more usable mods hub. The fact that if you download mods or you install mods, what you what you want is for any map you load up, for that map to only have the mods you put on it, rather than all the mods are there and you either select or deselect them, because you've got that situation. I know when I'm doing like mod reviews and stuff, if I've got, for example, 200 mods installed and I'm doing a mod review, if I've got things like uh, the placeables pack, the No Man's Land placeables pack, if I've got a decorative palettes pack and you've got, you know, however many items within that, when you come to do a mod review and you go into the menu to say, oh look, this is where you'll find it, and you have to scroll through <laughs> hundreds of items, um, but then to do the mod review, it means I've then got to go in and deselect them all. You know, there needs to be a kind of, I don't know, a more user-friendly system, I think. What the answer to that is, I don't know. Smarter minds than me will probably come up with a solution. Um, and obviously, it's all well and good. You know, even if you come up with an idea and think, oh, this would work really well. I don't even know if, you know, it could be coded whether it could be done I don't know you know we're never quite sure what guys the new game is going to take you know there's all the stuff they keep doing I, I listened to uh, the latest podcast was it podcast number nine where they introduced Kermit the Kerminator uh, is the new coordinator uh, community coordinator for the US because they're opening their Chicago office, which isn't open yet. They had, I thought it was Ele Eleni, Eleni. Um, and she was there about a month, I think it was about a month. And then decided, because she didn't, she wanted to stay where she was rather than move to Chicago to the offices. So she left, and they've, they've, they've now got Kerminator, who's been um, a streamer on Farm Sim and stuff for a long while now. And, uh, and yeah, he's got the job. Uh, he did, I think he did some commentary on the FSL. The last two FSLs, I think it was. Somebody asked me about that the other day as well. <laughs> when am I doing the next FSL? I don't think I am. <laughs> I 
think I've been removed. It's something I haven't talked about for quite a while. I haven't mentioned it. And I know a couple of people have asked. Um, and I don't know why. I, ha I haven't... No one's told me anything. I haven't had a message, an email. I haven't had a phone call. I haven't had anything from anyone saying that thanks very much for, for your help. Thanks for the ones you did last year. Or not last year, the year before, whenever it was. Um, but your service is no longer required, or you don't fit, or you don't know whatever it might be. Um, I've had nothing. I've had no feedback. I've had no, nothing at all from Giants. Um, and I know it was me and VF and Joe, and we kind of, between the three of us, bounced around. And then the last while it's been VF and Joe. Because we can't travel, so we haven't been able to go, so it's all been done remotely, I wasn't asked once to do the remote commenta uh, commentating. And I think then the last two Kerbinator did a couple with them as well. So I'm assuming, <laughs> I'm assuming I've been removed from the process. Well, yeah, don't know why, but it's that situation. It is what it is. It's just like doing all of this, it, you know, you ride the wave. It was great to have the opportunity. I got to travel around. I got to do commentating. I went to a few game shows that year. Um, it was great. Am I gutted? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Oops. But yeah, I don't know. It's an odd one, and no mistake. You know, I, I don't... It's, it's weird, isn't it? I don't mind it, you know, at the end of the day. It's not like I'm saying, I, I, will still, I still want to do it. I do still want to do it. Of course I do. I'd love to still be able to do it. If if I'm not the right fit for what they want to do, you know, if they're if, especially when they start televising it all again, if a, if a great big burly hairy biker looking person is not not what they want for showing their their game off i totally understand that you know and if it is that case or there is whatever reason it is it would just be nice to know it would be nice to have just had a phone call or an email say look you know but it's not get anything at all mm, don't know yeah Right, that's done. Well, nearly. Harvest is full again, and I have waffled on along again. So anyway, yeah, what I was saying. Congratulations to Kermit, to Kerminator, for getting the job. Hope it all works out. But he said, it's a dream job. You get to work in it. That's how I got into talking about FSL, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, where am I going? Um, yeah, for him it's his dream job. He said, you know, for all the years, like he's, since a young kid playing computer games, he's now working officially within the gaming industry for a games company. It's, it's amazing, isn't it? It's pretty cool when you can do stuff like that. I'm taking this up to here because I'm going to refill the uh, lime spreader just so I'm ready. Right. Pear trees. I'm wondering if at any point we'll get any partridges. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? I know it's not Christmas yet, but I couldn't resist. So we want... There we go. Easy way to spend 45 grand, isn't it? <laughs> so, we don't have pear trees. Let's get some water down here. Let's get some manure down here and get them sorted. I'm going to just sort out the lime first and I'll whiz out to the harvester, get that sorted. So what I'll do now then, is I'll get the pear trees ready to go in our new orchard. And then... What's next? Oh yeah, get the baler out to, to field 10, 9. We'll get those numbers right, then I'll move the harvester over. There's that.
I find that he went down to the docks and picked up the CSZ Big Fork. I think this will work. If this does 12,000 litres, it saves me buying a small trailer. And it should do the manure. That's the whole point of it. We are folded at the moment. I moved the harvester over to field 11. That was a bit dicey. The corner, the bottom corner of that is right up against the cliff edge. So that's going to be one I'm not going to be able to leave a worker on. I need to move that trailer really. Assuming of course I've even got 12,000 litres, I thought I did. And then again, assuming I've got this right and this is 12,000 litres. <laughs> I'm sure this is the one that Bear and Papa tipped me the wink about. It's got to be in it. Look, we're only not even half full. But is that going to be enough for all those trees? Mm, I might have jumped the gun here. I thought I had way more than that. Doesn't look like there's much here either. Probably because I've only just doubled the animals, but well, I'll do what I can. I suppose. That's all I can do, really. Can't do more than I can. That's not how it works. Yeah, that'll take absolutely loads. 12,000 litre fork. That's bonkers. But brilliant. Thank you, Bear and Papa. So we'll take that down, we'll start at the back. I'm worried about overfilling. That's the only problem, when you do it from a trailer, it stops when you've, you've got enough. I suppose I can pick it up off the ground, can't I? Let's go to the back of the plot first. Then they'll get the tanker, I'll back the tanker in, and we'll get all the water on these as well. And let's get them going. Shouldn't of course move in the right place. Please work. There we go. Oh, now what would help here? I'm going to go, oh that's not good is it? It's going to be 2,000 litres each isn't it? I'll do it for the time being. That's eaten into my uh, manure reserves. It's not anywhere to buy manure, is there? It's because all the manure I had, I sold, didn't I? Took it to the biogas plant. Too smart for my own good. I can buy it anyway. It would seem a bit daft, though, wouldn't it? Oh, okay. Maybe it won't overfill. I was just conscious. Now we do on feed triggers sometimes with buckets. It doesn't like it. We'll get two more done anyway. Cool. How many did I buy in the end? Seven? Is it seven? I think I just tried to squeeze maybe one too many at the front. I've got nice spacing at the back. And then I went a bit mad at the front. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, we actually haven't done too bad, have we? You know what I say? You get nothing for a pair. Not in this game. Oh, that's showing me age. So, water next. I'm just trying to think, there's not anywhere to buy any, is there? I wonder if you can buy manure up at the um, imports. I wonder how much it would be. Oh no, I've done this again, haven't I? I've got to stop doing that. I keep parking up next to walls and fences with the wrong side round. And thank you again for the people who commented about me harvesting. I, st I do it sometimes, but not. All. I don't know why. I still don't know why. I seem to every time I go into a field to start harvesting, I go the wrong way around the field. I seem to go round the, the, with the pipe facing in every single time. I know I shouldn't. I don't know why. It's a mental block. Sometimes I get it right. You think by now I would. 
I don't know why I do it. And I'm sorry. Oh, I still love it to see the animals, isn't it? I know when you sort of start off and... I just keep thinking back to when we started off the series and we cleared the yard, cutting the trees down, clearing the debris, moving all the stuff off the floor. So now, all the gear, all the trips we've done, all the runs we've got done, all the equipment we've bought, all the animals we've got, what would be a great idea at this point? Um, and this is an old farming trick. This is something... Um, Farmers have been doing it for a long, long time now. If you want to transport something, it's a great idea to actually put that thing into the thing you're transporting it with. That way... <clears throat> that way, when you get to your destination, you've got with you what you wanted to take with you. That, that's kind of how it works. Now, if this is 2,000 litres of each as well, I've got way too much, but we should be okay. There is a water point up here at the farm as well anyway. So either what you've got in storage or get it from the water tank, doesn't matter, either way. And driving forwards might be a slightly more difficult proposition. This not so much, hopefully. Actually, I can, I can water all of them, can't I? There we go. You just get double revenue if you've got the manure as well. That's normally how it works, isn't it? I haven't even been paying attention to what these take. Oh, it's only a thousand these, so two thousand of manure, one thousand of water. Okay. Good to know. Oh, what I might do is to do a bit of landscaping, I might put a bit of a track in here. Or then, you know what? No, I want to leave it. I want to leave it as a wild meadow. Wilding. So we can keep the bugs and creatures and things. Although I'm just driving through a bush, you know, but... lovely which leaves me one to do on the way out we'll get some more manure we'll put some more manure on it jibbity jobbed right let's go and put all the rest of the water back that I didn't need better to have it and not need it So, next, empty the harvester. We should be looking at not far off 70 or 1,000 litres of wheat. And actually what I'll do, I'll take the, I'll take the baler out. I'll leave that unloading. Let's grab the... What do I want to grab? Let's grab the New Holland, because I love the sound of that. And then what we'll do, like I say, we'll get some more hay done at some point. We'll get the straw bales brought up here. Actually, I don't know how many I've got on hand. I need to have a count, because I want to split what I've got left, my availability of bales, my 200 limit. Um, and split it between straw and hay. So if I make enough straw bales, and then stop when I reach the amount I need, the rest can either be picked up loose, or I could pellet and then I'll know how many hay bales I need to make as well. And I'll do what I did before, I'll lease the uh, auto load trailer and we'll do our total mixed ration sandwiches to make it easier for making our rations. Yeah, right, let's go and grab this baler. I'll see you over the field in a minute. I'm going to do a bit of a count up and then we'll go from there. I did my count of bales, 
we've got 25 straw so we can do 75 straw bales we've got 29 hay which means we can do 71 if we do an even split so i'm going to start here we've ended up with oh yeah, we've ended up with 65,000 litres of wheat off these two new fields so on top of you know we bought them they had wheat in them obviously they weren't fully fertilized or anything like that but what i'm going to do is once these are all done obviously i've got a load of field prep to do now as well field 11 just past our cornfield there is going to need lime so i'm going to have to come out and line that i've moved over too far i have to come out and line that and then everything will need to be fertilized over here then crops in the ground that's what we're aiming for oh that's what i was going to do I was going to look at the um cedar wasn't i i was going to sell the cedar maybe i'll do that before the end of the episode we'll swap out like i said i think i'm going to go with the great plains we've got the great plains yp 40 i think we'll go for the 24 25 yeah i've missed a load and i look at the state of that right my brain will not allow me will not allow me to leave that behind <laughs> Because I'm talking, I'm just missing bits as we go. The pickup on this is what well, has been pretty good up to now. I haven't really missed anything up to now. So I need to keep an eye on the counter. As soon as I hit 75, stop. And then what we'll do is the rest will be either, like I say, we'll either come and pellet it all loose. We have got a lot of pellets on hand and all honesty, so I'll probably just collect it all loose. Use the milling machine and the lorry. We'll come and collect it. And that can go into the other silo. Or I might stick a load in the hayloft. So we can do bedding. So, yeah. All sorts of options available. So what I will do now, I'm going to shrug up and down here. Actually, you know what we'll do? Let's stop there a second. Let's go into the online brochure, shall we? And have a look. I'm only saying this one because... Because it does seed, it does both, the seeding and planting. And that's out to 18.2. The one, oh no, hang on, I said I was going to go for, not that one. What did I say I was going to get instead? Was it that? Well, that's a nine. Was it under cedars? It was cedars, wasn't it? What was the one I said I was going to get? I am denied, didn't I? And then I said, oh yeah, I haven't used that one. That, the DG2. That's 12. Mm, yeah, so, but it is a direct drill, which takes us from an 8 to a 12. And I said I hadn't used that before. You know what, yeah. Let's do it. Why not? So I'll take the ball, go back. We'll get that out. And then maybe we'll scale up again to something even larger. Isn't it amazing how we had, what was it, 1 point, what was it, 1 million, 200 odd thousand we had? We're down to 92 grand. So I think you buy a harvester and a header and a corn header and a tractor and then a couple of fields. Before you know it, all your hard earned money is gone. Now I'm not even sure I'm going to get 75 bales off these two fields, you know. And if I don't, again, it's not the end of the world. That's just my limit, that's my upper limit. There is no lower limit. As long as I've got at least one bale, I'm happy. So what we'll do then in the next episode is we'll... We'll do some of the field prep. We'll get out with that new cedar, we'll give that a go. We'll let that stretch its legs and prep. Hopefully the corn will be done. And then we'll look at, yeah, I see. Soybean price is still low. Okay, I was going to uh, sell all that soybean, wasn't I? My cash crop. And the price is awful. That said, once the price comes back up, we will do that. I've still got two more fields to harvest of soybean fields 
three and five. Yeah, three and five. So once I've got all that harvested, we'll know where we're at with all of that. Let's have a fairly narrow pickup. It looks fancy, but and when you think about square balers, I mean, yeah, yes, it does six thousand litre bales, which is, is probably the, the bonus with this one. But as far as square balers go, there are some that are absolutely dirt cheap and do exactly the same job. And some of them have a slightly wider pickup too, which makes life a little bit easier. Because that does involve a lot of backwards and forwards, so... Anyway, I'm doing it again. I'm kind of in my head, I'm thinking about what next and where I'm going and what we're going to do. But I have got the jobs done that I want to do today. We've got harvesting done, liming done, orchard set up and baling begun. I need to wait on that grass on field 7 once that's done that will get harvested harvested that'll get mown tedded and then I'll get a load of uh, hay bales done too I hope you enjoyed it if you have please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching